Hey, I wanted to uh, make a video on, uh, <laughs> I haven't made some beer garden videos and actually I think about a year. Um, I didn't do any that I remember this season. If I did, I think I made one, but I never published it. I can't remember. But uh, my wife actually, uh, like, like, like most people uh, in the wintertime, I drink heavier beers in the summertime, I drink lighter beers. So I thought, well, in the wintertime, I would make us something, some kind of set inside the house that looked decent, and sit in a chair and drink some beer, but it never came around. Well, at least hasn't yet. It's the end of January. And last this last summer, I never did any. So I'm a little disappointed in that. I'm not getting a lot of views on those videos, so it's, not, it's probably not a big deal, but I thought, well, you know, this is an area of expertise that I have. So I thought, well, maybe I'm cheating that one or two people that might watch. So here's my glass. I have to, I have to use a Patriots glass. Uh, it's January, end of January. We're getting ready to go into the Super Bowl 52 that the Patriots are in. So um, I don't want to break tradition and not use my Patriots class. Uh, what we're going to review today is, well, actually, you actually already know because you clicked on it, is Guinness uh, Stout. It's actually, uh, what's it actually? It's not actually called anything but Guinness. It just says Guinness Original. So Guinness Original is a stout. You don't know what a stout is. It's a um, basically it's just a heavy, malty, uh, dark beer. Um, I guess it'd be considered a lager, but it's basically at the very bottom end of it. It's pretty. It's the heaviest beer. It's almost like a Bach beer if you were drinking in Germany. Um, it's a very uh, he it's a heavy beer, and a lot of extra spices usually go into it, and um, it's. Uh, it's um, it's just uh, it's a certain type of beer. I'm a little lost. I'll have a better explanation on the next one I do. But my wife bought me a uh, a Guinness variety pack. Variety packs are pretty big, pretty big in my area in, in the United States. Uh, a lot of beer companies do variety packs, and um, all throughout the year. And Guinness decided to do one, I guess, and had uh, one, two, one, two, three, four of their beers. So they had three of each kind on a 12-pack. Uh, obviously, they're going to have a couple of their original Guinness. Um, I, If I had to pick my favorite beer overall, if I just had to pick one beer I could drink, that's not even a good question either because I, I like variety like everybody does. But if on any given day, given a choice and given two seconds to decide what kind of beer I have, if I'm given a choice, I would always choose Guinness Draft. Um, Guinness Draft is my favorite go-to beer. Uh, sorry, I have a little interjection because I'm on video. Sorry. <clears throat> it's like being camera shy when nobody's watching. <clears throat> I mean, nobody's watching me live, you know. Hope somebody watches the video. But um, um, Guinness Draft is just the best beer ever, in my opinion. Um, when you get into bottled beer, it changes. Now, Guinness Bottle, to me, is very carbonated. It has a, very, it has a lot of carbonation in it. So it kind of loses that standing with me when you start talking about bottled beers. So... Um, um, because of that, this is not my favorite beer. However, we're going to go ahead and review it really quickly, okay? Uh, in order to open the beer, it's not a twisty, which to me is always a, is a status thing. If it's a twisty, it's just not a high-level beer. <laughs> Usually I use a bottle opener, but my son left this. Uh, this is uh, called the uh, Bottle Popper, made by Martin. It's an engineering company. My, wife, my son's an engineer. And he brought this home, and it's pretty cool. It looks like a, almost like an air, uh, oil filter. And you put it on the beer. Let's see if I can do this in camera. Put it on the beer, nice and level. And you press down and lift up. Pops it right off. All right, we'll pour the beer. Okay. Gotta be careful because Guinness will overflow. Because it, it always makes a really big head on it. Uh, that's draft or bottle. It'll do about the same type head. So the carbonation to me doesn't seem to make much of a difference. Um, I am filming this at night, so you're not getting a great uh, visual on this. I know. I do apologize for that. I have no lights in this end of the house. Sorry. But it's doing its typical thing. Uh, it's a very thick head, thick brownish head. Um, very, very stable head. I mean, it's pretty much uh, there, and it's going to be there for a couple minutes. So I'm going to let it sit for a minute. Um, stout has a certain smell. I would say almost like chocolate coffee in a, in a, in a way, but... The Guinness about that way. Very uh, alluring to somebody who likes food. Uh, as I'm getting older, I'm getting fatter. <laughs> I do like food more than I used to. 
So I like stouts more than I used to, I guess. I know you can't really see it because of the camera angle, but it's starting to do that um, kind of wavy, not wavy, but kind of uneven surface on the uh, on the head. That means it has a lot of body. That means the beer has a lot of body to it. Uh, it's gone down to about an inch and a half. I can take a swig out of it now. Cheers. It's definitely better than I remember it. Uh, I remember years ago, back in the 90s, uh, it seemed to have more carbonation to it. And maybe, again, maybe I'm just older. I'm going to pour more, some more into it. Yeah. You can see the top of the head. It's very, very like little like mountain ranges. <laughs> so it just, it just, it just it has a lot of body to it. Um, this is not going to be a real long video because I'm not going to sit to have you watch me drink the beer. But it's very dark, as you can see. It's almost black. You don't see a lot of bubbles floating around in it um, because you can't see it because it's black. But I think they might have reduced the carbonation a little bit. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I've had, this is the third beer out of the uh, out of the uh, variety pack, so I've had a couple, and this one um, is just like the other two, and it's a very um, heavy beer. Um, has uh, some extra spice and stuff to it, but it's not that it's not very actually. Actually, I think the draft has more flavor to it. Hmm. Very malty caramel taste. Little hint of. Uh, Maybe a little hint of coffee, but there's no coffee in it as far as I know. It just has that that hint. Like it's, it's, it's high on the malt side. So it's, sometimes when you get high on a malt side and there's not a lot of sugar in it, you will get a more of a hint of coffee taste to it. Um, and then the color actually probably helps fool your mind into maybe there's coffee in it as well. But uh, So I get that a lot of people will say that when they drink stout, they, they have a coffee, t a coffee taste to it. And then there's some stouts that add coffee. So... Um, Body-wise, it's not as uh, much body to it as I'm used to from the draft, so I'm a little surprised. But um, it's still a very high-quality beer. I mean, it's very good beer. I mean, I'll finish this very quickly. <laughs> don't get the wrong impression that I don't like it. Uh, I do. Um, but I tell you, I think they've they've lightened it up a little bit. I want to say it's just a bubble lager now. Just a bubble lager. There's that little wetness to it. Not weakness, but a little, I want to say watered down, but I can't come up with any other words to their draft version or to some heavier stouts that I've had. I had a very heavy stout last night um, from, I can't remember the name of the place, it was made in New Hampshire. But they went really over the top with it. It's like 8.5% alcohol and black is, you can't see light through it. And it's just, you almost can't drink it. Mm. Oh, there's some combination for you, sorry. <clears throat> um, that's only drinking four or five sips. <clears throat> wow. But, uh, Nice color to it, and the head is still there. Um, the head sticks around a little bit more on the, on the maybe not. The, the draft is is a little more um, even layered, and again because there's no carbonation in it. Um, but this is this is holding out very well. Um, very good beer. Uh, I know I used to do a lot of number ratings. I'm getting away from that now. Uh, basically, it's just a very good beer. If you're going to drink a beer that's well made, crafted really well, this is definitely a way to go. If you like heavier beers and you like a uh, richer taste to it or a more, um, I can say a malty taste, uh, this stouts are a way to go. Very good way to go. If you like a lot of flavor with your beer, stouts are great. Lagers tend to be, you know, not as they all kind of taste the same more or less. Um, but uh, stouts have that little rich, more of a rich flavor to it. So if you like that or if you haven't, if you have no idea, give it a try. Uh, Guinness is a good one to start with because it's just very good. It's made very well. Um, I've done another review. I think it was for Rasputin beer. Uh, Rasputin Imperial Stout, which I like better than this. It is better than Guinness. I do like it better as far as um, bottled beer goes. I have not had the opportunity to have Rasputin on draft. Uh, I've had Guinness on draft, and it's just Guinness on draft is just like drinking, you know, I don't know how to say it. I mean, it's like the ultimate beer. I mean, I've never had it. Guinness Draft is my favorite, <clears throat> but uh, Guinness Bottled is pretty good. Um, I like it. Just so you know what's coming, um, it's only going to get better from this because the other beers in the variety pack, I like them all better better than this, so it does get better. But this is still, Guinness Draft is still, I mean, Guinness uh, Stout is definitely a very good beer. So uh, thanks for watching my 10-minute video on Guinness uh, Guinness Stout.